Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Stoked on Spokes. In the last van build episode, we finished with the solar installation and the Thinsulate insulation, which means that we were ready to build. Up until this point, you're not really building much in the van, you're just kind of setting it up to build. In this van build episode, we take a look at several projects that we've been doing over the weeks. I've acquired a lot of footage for the van build series, so instead of splitting it up into individual videos like a smart person would, I am tackling them in this mega video. This video might seem a little bit long, but if you're interested in van builds, you might be interested in the content of this video. So without further ado, let's get going. We have a lot to cover. With the whole world on pandemic mode, we decided to stock up on lumber and basically all the materials that we would need for several projects. Those are the projects we'll be covering in this video. And at the end of the video, I will show you where the van is today, as in April 15th when I am recording this voiceover. Acquiring the Baltic birch was quite simple. We had a local supplier that had Baltic birch, so we picked up a bunch and decided to start tackling the cutting. So we will use Baltic birch for a few projects in this video, the first being the bicycle drawer. It's gonna be our bike drawer. I'll do this tomorrow. I do not wanna take any credit away from anyone. Everything that we are building in this van is heavily built and reliant upon the website faroutride.com. So if you guys haven't checked out that website and are interested in building a van for yourself, definitely look at their resources. All right, here we go. Time to apply glue. All right, just finished up screwing everything in. I'm like, half, I'm happy with it. There's definitely some imperfections, but I'm no woodworker, so can't really expect that. Um, functionality wise, I think it should work. Here it is. This is the imperfection I was talking about. It's a little bit crooked. It's going this way instead of straight. But I think it should work. The hinges should still work. So after wood gluing the sides and screwing the sides in, I added some L brackets for extra strength and it was time to sand everything down, getting ready for the coat of Danish oil. While the bike drawer dried, it was time to start a different project. Now this video, we're gonna be bouncing around from project to project, so we'll get back to the bike drawer in a few minutes. While I had Jordan's help, 
we decided to tackle a project that it's probably more of a two-person project, and that was to build the bed frame. Let's go see if it fits. What is this, D? What? Wait for me. I want to see it too. <laughs> oh, I need to turn the light on. D is oh. way over there. We just finished the framing of the bed. Nice. It's literally. <sighs> I'm gonna be pissed when there's four inches of clearance for your bike. I'm gonna be pissed. There's gonna be some, yeah, clearance. I'm gonna be pissed. If there's more than two inches of clearance, that's excessive and annoying, and I'm gonna be upset. Yeah, she was pissed. I just got these window covers in from Strafa. They're magnetic. Pretty nice. So the truth of the matter is there was an excessive amount of clearance for the bikes, but I built this platform bed with the thought that I would not have a gravel dropper post, which I now acquired, so the clearance doesn't make sense, but it'll still give us plenty of storage for other things besides bikes. Okay. Well, is that three inches right there? During this evening of work, we decided to knock out the platform on the bed and Jordan helped me out with the slides on the mountain bike tray.
mounting the bike tray was quite easy. You just have to make sure to reinforce it with a lot of L brackets, both on the outside of the tray's mounting points and on the inside. After adding a thin layer of rubber to protect the wood, it was just time to mount the bikes and try it out. Sure enough, all the bikes fit well. And what I was super stoked on was that all the wheels fit within this same tray. I did not actually design the tray for this to happen, but the spacing in it is perfect for all the wheels to stay within the tray. While I was mounting and finishing up the tray installation, Jordan was busy working on the rest of the insulation. So for insulation, you have thin slate, which insulates the biggest gaps in the van, but you also don't want to have exposed metal as that is a conducer to either hot or cold temperatures. So on the exposed metal, you use a product called Easy Cool, which regulates the temperature of that metal a lot more, and it transfers into a better temperature within the van. After the Easy Cool was installed, it was time to install our studs. Once we had our studs meant it was time to start the ceiling. The ceiling is a little bit of a tricky process because you have to plan ahead for your wiring and wiring needs. So I'm right now working on wiring up these lights. Yesterday we installed them and installed these middle panels, but they all have to be wired in parallel and so it's taken me a little bit but I've made it work. I got these front four to work together. Check it out. 
Nice. It's coming together. All right, I'm gonna do these back for now. I lost myself. I waited still for a glimmer to arrive. I know it will, but dreaming. Look at that, we got light. Nice. Oh, shit, minus that one. It might be the Anderson power pole connector though. Let's see. So all of them minus one. One in the back here. They're turning on. I can't understand why this one's not working. Okay, I have no idea what I just did. I tried to unplug this to make sure this light was working. Plugged it directly into the battery. It was working. And then I Plugged. I started the circuit this end and the seven lights were working and this one obviously was unplugged and then I reconnected the original seven light circuit that was working and then attached this last one and boom I don't know if I had to like break it in or something but it seems like that now all of them are working one two three four five six seven eight now here we have the middle part of the ceiling all finished up all of the lights where we want them to be and the fan that we want on the opposite side of our bed where we want it to be. Now I'm just finishing up the electrical while Jordan built the kitchen cabinet where our sink will go and then we can finish the ceiling panels. Now the electrical again is a process that I'm new to and have never really worked on anything electrical before the van build, but it is a process that I enjoyed doing a lot during this van build. Definitely one of the most rewarding ones I've found so far in the build. So we installed the rest of the ceiling and now let me show you what it looks like today. So this is what it looks like today, April 15th. This is the kitchen cabinet that Jordan built while I was finishing the electrical. These are our lights and our ceiling. There's of course small little spots on the ceiling that still need to get finished. These are the lights. They have is a two dimmer setup, so you can dim the back and still have the front for when someone's sleeping. Or you can dim the front and just have the rear. So pretty neat. I had a lot of fun wiring those lights. 
And yeah, it is coming together. Let me turn them on full blast there. It is coming together. It's, it's crazy to think that this was just a box, a big box of steel. Not too long ago. The garage right here will be closed off eventually. You can see kind of our plans. These will be cubbies over here. This of course will be the sink. And we're just gonna run a camping stove over here. We're gonna have some shelves, kind of like a, a wardrobe space over there. Um, but yeah, that was it. And uh, this is the van. Thank you guys for watching this video. I apologize if it was long. Had a lot of footage that I wanted to show you guys because I know some of you are very interested in the van build. So thank you guys for watching. If this was helpful or you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you enjoy content like this, make sure you subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Till then, remember to stay stoked on Spokes. Peace.